Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Cake and Bake Challenge. Hear the bell in there? Um, so this is a game where you're going to stack a cake and hit a bell. And if you see this game, and several of the people out there um, in our studio here said, oh, you're going to trash this one. Well, I'm giving you a spoiler. I'm not going to trash it. This is a game about stacking cake, stacking foam pizza cake. It's clearly for kids. It says 4 plus on here. Let's take a look, and we'll be right back. So in this box are a bunch of different pieces of cake. Each of them has a different texture, which matters if you want to play with your eyes closed. They're made of this foam. This is the same kind of foam you'd use for a kid's floor, which means, though, you can make marks on it, and it's going to get beat up as time goes by. You can see here, one of my corners here got squished. But you know what? I don't know that that hurts this game so much. Um, these are cardboard. There's cards with the game that are not particularly... Um, good quality and then there's a bell and then a bunch of candle cards so what you're gonna do is everyone's gonna get a card in front of them you flip your card face up and then you quickly build that as fast as you can now when building things there's three ways to build them you can have one of each slice in front of you and then you build that as fast as you can and then hit the bell and then you're done so when you do that, you can have these already stacked, or you can put them all in the middle of the table like this, where you're just pulling any of them out, including these toppings of gummy bears and uh, the, the little, these things that you used to have to rip off a piece of paper with your mouth, and then the sprinkles, and they're duplicated on the back, so you have two different ones to pick from, as strawberries. Or there's a third way where one person, you have a lead baker and an assistant baker, and this is for teams, and the lead baker is telling the assistant baker what to pick up, and that's why they have these different touch things on them, because yellow has this kind of grid here. And while I'm not particularly good with my sense of touch, these do have a nice different feel to them um, that I think people would be able to tell apart. Anyway, that's it. Everything works well. There's also action cards here. These are the cards that you use to see what kind of flavor cakes you make. Um, but then there's these extra action cards when you can see that this will, everyone passes their card to the person on the right, which is kind of a waste of time. This 10 seconds here, you look at your card and then you flip it over and you have to do it from memory. Uh, this one here, you just lose a turn. This is ridiculous. These shouldn't be in the game and I never play with them. This is a stupid card, a stupid, stupid card to include in the game for kids, to have everyone go and the kid turns it over, they're already not winning, and they draw lose a turn. So those are not good cards. Um, and then you can make up your own challenge cards. Or here you have to do it upside down. Some of the stuff is good, but honestly, I think this is the weakest part of the game. Or maybe the boxes, because it's not a very good quality box. It's just one of these open boxes. But let's go to my opinion. I like this game. Well, I mean, other than the idiotic. I haven't made this clear yet. Lose a turn card. I mean, if I, if I was going to keep this game at my house, and I can't keep every kid's game that comes across my shelf at my house, I would rip those up. Literally rip them up and throw them in the garbage because it's, it's insanity. But it works for little kids. The idea of grabbing them and stacking them and then hitting a bell, it's fun. Now, there is the problem that in this game, someone's going to be faster than someone else, and they're going to win more often. They'll get their a certain number of birthday candles that you need to win the game first. But um, you can make it more challenging for that person. For the littler kid, you can give them, the, they have all theirs stacked up. For the older kids, you throw theirs in a pile where they have to grab them and go in between. You can even give them a time delay. There's just different ways to do it. And I like this foam. I mean, this foam has a lot of nostalgia for me in the sense that you know, again, it's that flooring for kids, but it works well and try to play with teams and feeling it. And that's kind of a tricky thing. You know, this is green. This one's purple. Nope, blue. Okay, well, I don't know what the different textures are, but someone's telling me that, you know, so uh, let me see how well I can do here. So this is orange. I got my colors here, red, orange. Okay, I'm going to mix them all up in the bottom and then I got to grab the orange one. Nope. I think this is orange. Yes. I got it. Anyway, this game is exactly what it says it's, it's trying to be. It's trying to be a game where you're building a bunch of cake pieces as fast as you can. Works for kids. Has some problems. Could use a better box. Could get rid of that one card. Um, but other than that, if you have little kids and you want to let them have fun building cakes, and then, they, right, if they don't want to play the game anymore, they can still make little cakes. So that's Cake and Bake Challenge. I give this one a six for kids. Check it out. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time.